Salvage and repurpose. Today, we'll look at what's inside a disposable camera. Warning, this circuit board can hold quite a charge. Make sure to watch this video to the end to see how to discharge the capacitor to make sure that you're working safely with this device. There are a lot of great usable parts inside a disposable camera, but first, you have to get the pesky case off of the components. A small screwdriver or similar device is perfect for prying the case off of the components. Start along the edges and work your way as you carefully kind of pry it apart and get to the insides. The first thing you'll find is a AA battery that will still have most of its charge and it will often just kind of fall out on its own. From there, we'll start to work on getting the lens unit out. At the top of the camera, there's a viewfinder that has a little bit of a magnifying effect to it. That can be useful for some projects. But I like to then get all the little components out, little plastic wheels and dials, and then start moving back onto that lens unit that's on the very front. These are some images I took with my cell phone camera based on a macro lens that I made with a similar type of a lens that I added on top of my cell phone camera. This will be part of a project that I'll show in the future. With the outer case removed and some of the smaller pieces out, you'll now see the circuit board that's the main part that I use for some other projects. We'll continue to work on getting this out of the case as well. There are plenty of other little springs and pieces that you can continue to take out. I usually do. I separate everything out and then I'll recycle what I'm not going to need. Let's move the extra pieces out of the way and look at the main piece that we really want to use for some projects, the circuit board. We'll put the battery back in and then show you how you can charge this system back up and activate the flash unit. I've used this little circuit board in whole for a couple of different projects. I've added one to an Altoids tin to make a manual flash device, and I've added an extra little component to make it into a repeating strobe. Both of these will be projects that I'll show in the future. The LED ready light will illuminate when the charge is ready for you to set off the flash. There's two little pins, and all you have to do is make a connection between these two, and the flash device will work. Warning, the little capacitor that I'm holding on to here holds 330 volts. This is what allows the little xenon tube to make its flash, but it will give you quite a shock and can be dangerous if mishandled. The image scrolling by is the discharge from a capacitor bank that I made out of several of these components. You can see how strong of a discharge this can actually be. To safely work with this circuit board, I recommend discharging the capacitor at the very outset before you even remove the circuit board from the shell. This can be done by shorting the two pins that are attached at the bottom of the capacitor. Please hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you for more Dialed In DIY.